Well, now that the NTF is destroyed, what do we do next? This is Admiral Coffre, commanding officer of the GVD Santec, 13th the Sudan Battle Group. The NTF rebellion is over. Alas, Regulus and Sirius are now under Allied control. And we begin the process of rebuilding these systems after 18 months of bloodshed. NTF officers responsible for the genocide of the Sudan civilians will face a war crimes tribunal in Beta Aquilae. TTVA warships in the nebula are now hunting down the Iceni and the other blockade runners. If it wasn't obvious by this point, we are we are part of the Sudan wing now. For those Terran pilots joining us in Gamma Draconis, welcome aboard. Your reassignment is part of an officer exchange program to foster better cooperation and understanding. You will serve in their Sudan wings and pilot their Sudan fighters. Our crews have modified our craft to accommodate Terran pilots. We as an alliance have come a long way since the Terran vs. Sudan war. And initiatives such as this can only strengthen the bond between our species. I used to- I remember when I first played this game, I used to hate this part of the game because I despised the student craft. Although it's still kind of there, that, that this despising of the student craft, I guess you could call it. I've grown used to it somewhat, in fact, I really- I don't have- I don't bothered it by it as much. Then again, that was because I was using the service. With the rebellion defeated, we are now able to focus on our exploration and containment operation in the nebula. We have three objectives in this theater. To locate uncharted Shivan jump nodes, to destroy all hostiles encountered, and to apprehend Admiral Aiken Barsh. We begin launching our squadrons at 32.30, the Sudan Galactic Time. 32.30? So I'm a little interested in how that works, but okay. The Samtec has received a shipment of the new GTW-66 Maxim gun. The Maxim is by definition an energy weapon, though it behaves like a mass driver, accelerating caseless uranium slugs along its smooth bore barrel. The Maxim has difficulty penetrating shield defenses, but its effect on hull plating is devastating. Use the Maxim at your discretion. Getting past the Techno Babble, the Maxim basically does massive, massive, massive hull damage, but it cannot it does pitiful shield damage. It's useful paired with something else that breaks shields like the Prometheus. It's also notable that Maxim has a very, very fast firing rate and a very, very long range. I think it's like four thousand meters, I think. It also shakes your screen when you sh when you fire it, so it's kind of a problem. You have also been issued the GTW-83 Lamprey Cannon. A second generation leech gun, the Lamprey affects the energy systems of your target, draining its weapon, shield, and afterburner reserves. Coupled with a balanced hull and shield damaging weapon, the Lamprey is highly effective against smaller vessels. This is an example of a weapon that also drains your shields, which is also useful when paired with the Maxim for dogfighting at least. And also, well, whatever. All Terrans be advised that the Sudan fighters and bombers may be equipped with the Meku HL-7, a modified version of the Subak HL-7. The Meku design has been optimized for the reactor grids of the Sudan craft to increase the cannon's rate of fire. I believe the difference, the main differences between the Subak and the Meku is that the uh, Meku does less damage per shot but fires extremely faster. This is um this is bu uh, bugging me 
well rather the fight enemy fighters that were shooting me in the first NTF wave mission, if you remember when we were flying undercover as NTF agents, the enemy fighters were bugging me a bit because they were flying, they were firing their mechu guns, which were basically making the screen flash red at a very alarmingly fast rate. Continuing on. Welcome to the 203rd, Terran. I am Commander Abu, Squadron Leader. Our unit has served the Emperor since the war between our species nearly five decades ago. I understand you were among the pilots who assisted our counterinsurgency effort in the Deneb system. We are honored to fight by your side, pilot. You will lead Alpha Wing. Allied Command has ordered the 203rd to nullify a gas mining operation in the vicinity of our secure perimeter. Reconnaissance has located six Rahu-class miners, defended by a screen of sentry guns. Your primary objective is to destroy the miners. Your secondary objective is to neutralize the sentry guns. Be advised the shockwave of a gas miner explosion will have a destructive radius greater than that of a ship of comparable size. As the hull integrity of your target approaches zero, put as much distance as possible between yourself and the miner. We believe the Sheevans are using the nebular gas for energy. Good luck. Our objectives here are to destroy all Sheevan gas miners and destroy all Sheevan sentry guns. As outlined in the briefing, the gas miners are the main priority, though the sentry guns can be destroyed. They are, all, they are secondary to the main gas miners being destroyed though. Let's look at what we have available. Our Vasudan ships include the Horus and M Interceptor, basically um, their version of the Perseus, just a little, a little too different I guess. The Thoth, the su base superiority comparable to the Ulysses. The Serapis, which is supposed to be an advanced interceptor like the, uh, like the Perseus, but instead goes with very paper thin armor. And Torret, which we saw before, which is a heavy assault fighter. Despite its poor maneuverability and slow speed, this thing actually has a surprisingly fast afterburner speed. However, um, I'm pretty sure we can clear this. I want to set myself. No, no, let's set Gamma Wing to fly um, Thoth. And. I'm not sure actually. I want to say let's go fly some Horus as well, but I'll put Alpha Wing into Horus's and Gamma Wing into Thoth's. As for our loadouts, well, you know what I'm going to say, Prometheus. It's it's able to be equipped on so many other fighters. I'm just going to take the same loadout I took for the Perseus. Two um, two banks of Prometheus, two banks of, hor of harpoons. For the Torrents, I'm going to do the same thing here too, because honestly, I don't see a reason for the Hornets. They're a little inefficient for the for how much you fire. Oh, we don't have enough Harpoons. Okay, um, I guess we're going to have to take the Hornets. But we do have the upgrade, the, the, the Tornado Missile at least, so we can try it for its alternative that way. And as for the Gamma Wing Flying Thoughts, we just need to do this. Normalize and everything's set. We just went through the briefing and through the loadouts, a little short introduction to our student craft that we have available. And we're going to start this mission next video. See you next time.